Take your seats. Who said that? Where's Mr. Young? I'm at the front of the room. Cool. I've managed to get my eyes to stop seeing him. Now I've got to work on my ears. Actually, this is today's science lesson. Come on, stupid ears. <laughs> I have created an invisibility suit. It's constructed out of carbon nanotubes that, when heated, cause the light to bend around them. Magic! <laughs> Though some people would say that science is indistinguishable from magic, magic isn't actually real. Derby. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Melvin the Magnificent. <laughs> it's true, Melvin. If you don't believe me, ask your lab partner. Only the overdresser. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to show you... <sighs> Very funny, Derby. Give me back the suit. I am offended. How dare you accuse me of taking something that isn't mine? You disgust me, sir. <laughs> fall asleep. It is not in Mr. Young's class. <laughs> hey, wake up! I don't want to go to school today, Mommy. Everybody hates me. Mr. Teeter, you were having a nightmare that you were still a schoolboy? Right. <laughs> schoolboy. <laughs> Mommy and I had a fight. I was having dinner with Penelope, and Mommy wouldn't give us any privacy. Well, maybe you should take your lady friend to a quiet, romantic restaurant. <laughs> Go to a quiet, romantic restaurant with a porcelain doll. <laughs> That's a great idea! Oh, but Penelope's back at home with Mommy, and I'm never going back there. You could always... Bunk with you? Thanks, dang. <laughs> Mommy would never let me have any sleepovers. Oh, we can gossip, give each other manicures, and have tickle fights! <laughs> what did I just do? I'm so upset, I could just... I had eyes on my butt instead of on my face, where they're useless. Useless! <laughs> Derby? Derby? I need that invisibility suit back. <laughs> Derby, I know you're here. No, I'm not. You just talked to me. No, I didn't. Give me the suit back. Never. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I've got something to do. Mr. Young. It was him. Well, it wasn't me. Then who threw these mashed potatoes at me? <laughs> huh. I guess I threw these mashed potatoes at me. Take that, tater. Hi, Kyle. Did you get a haircut? It looked really good. I didn't get a haircut. Do you want a haircut? I could give you a haircut. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm good. You are good. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down now. <laughs> hey! 
seats taken. Good morning, class. Who has heard of the War of 1812? Ah, uh, not again. Someone do something. There was no War of 1812. In fact, there was no 1812. Nice. Malarkey. If you don't believe me, look at that calendar from 1811. November 1811. December 1811. January 1813. Okay, these hunky firemen give me an idea. You're all going to do presentations on history's greatest romances. You mean like Napoleon and Josephine, Antony and Cleopatra, Catherine the Great and her horse, loving husband Tsar Peter the Third? <laughs> sure. Or the greatest romance this world has ever seen, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. I can't believe I agreed to do this. Kiss me, Biebs. What? Uh... <laughs> I'm covering my eyes, but I can see through my hands. Derby, you broke my invisibility suit. No, I didn't. Slab took it. Then why are you walking around in your underpants? I don't understand the question. So, Slab has the suit? If he can make himself invisible, who knows what he'll do? <laughs> Invisible wedgie. All right. Now all we have to do is wait for Slab to take the bait. Can't we just use a piece of cheese? No. You stole the suit. You have to be the bait. No fair. I can't be expected to be responsible for my actions. I'm Derby. <laughs> This invisibility suit is awesome. I sat through the entire detention, and everyone thought I skipped detention. Here comes Slab. Act like the biggest, nerdiest nerd you can think of. Got it. I'm a genius. After I got my fancy graduate degree, I became the youngest high school teacher ever. A nerd? Give me your nerd lunch, nerd. Give it. Give it. Let go. Now. <laughs> you dropped it. Hey, what's happening? Let me out of here. Not until you give me the invisibility suit back. OK, OK. Here, take it. What? No, don't throw it. <laughs> Great. Who knows where it landed? Good day, Echo. Yes, I know, Echo. I'm bald. I can't believe I have to share my room with Principal Tater. You called? Ah! I found a magic suit. <laughs> Oops. I'm very disappointed in you three. This is incredible technology that is not meant to be used for selfish purposes. Selfish? I was researching what goes on in the girls' locker room. I was going to share my findings with mankind. If Derby gets to use the suit, I get to use the suit. I need to get Penelope back from home, and I don't want Mommy to see me. No! Nobody's getting the invisibility suit. If it'll make you feel better, I'll trade you that dirty invisibility suit for this clean one. <laughs> What do you think? Is that a wedding dress? <laughs> no, this is my Lady Guinevere costume. Oh. <laughs> it's for a history presentation on Guinevere and Sir Lancelot. Your night has arrived, milady. <laughs> She's not his milady. She's my milady. Okay, how about this? 
will buy the invisibility suit off you for one million dollars. It's right here in this invisible money bag. Get out of here. Great. You got my money everywhere. Okay. Good night. Good night? What do you mean, good night? I mean, it's night. And it's good. Good night. But mommy always gives me a glass of warm milk before... Here you go. <laughs> Sleep time. Owie! It's too hot. <laughs> now it's too cold. Too milky. Ah! Wow. I can see why Guinevere fell for Lance a lot. And I can see why you can see that. <laughs> Time to make sure this will be one night Echo forgets. Ha! Why do puns and evil plans go so well together? Let's start our presentation with an impressive display of swordsmanship. Uh-oh. I've heard of the singing sword, but this one sounds like a scared little girl weeping. That was amazing. I know. You teach me? Okay, this is going out the window. Hey, where'd the sword go? Don't worry. We could use this. Works for me. Let's start with the giraffe. <laughs> this pointer sounds like a scared little girl, too. Dang. 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 I'm calling your name. Why aren't you appearing? It's optional. I can't sleep. Why? Is Tato your roommate? I can't fall asleep without a bedtime story. Fine. All right. Once upon a time, there were three leaf monkeys. The first leaf monkey built his house out of, well, leaves. The second leaf monkey made his house out of chom chom tree branches. And the third leaf monkey made his house out of fancy heads. One day, the evil lesser false vampire bat showed up too scary. <laughs> you know you're in detention a lot when the teacher asks you to lock up. <laughs> cool. A sword. Your sword, nerd stone! <laughs> All right, Rock. I know one thing that always beats you. Paper! <laughs> Maybe after the sword demonstration, I could perform some music. You know how to play that thing? I dabble. I dabble. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously. For, For I, I have loved you and I long to like in your company. Green sweet was all my joy. Green sweet was my delight.
Oh, and maybe we could dance. Actually, that's all right. I can dance by myself. Or we could do this instead. Whoa. What's with the kissing? We're just doing a homework assignment here. I'm doing an English assignment with Derby, and we don't even hold hands. I guess I thought maybe you were interested in me. Seriously? You're not exactly in my league. Oh. Although, to be fair, no one is. who's nice and smart and likes me and cares about me. Someone who's honest and doesn't hide behind some facade. This butter should help me free the sword. By giving me the strength only butter can give. Oh, I don't feel so good. I need the healing power only butter can give. Dang. Oh, good, you're awake. What's for breakfast? Breakfast? It's not eating time. It's sleeping time. See? Little hands at 10, big hands at 12, and this hand's about to punch you in the kidney from the inside. Mommy usually makes pancakes. She makes them in the shape of my head. And then we use nutmeg to give me hair. <laughs> oh, hello, mommy. Yes, I'm sure you are sorry, but it's too late for apologies now. My new roommate and I love living together, and I'm never leaving. again because I love you see you soon mommy Mwah. time to slip out silently and change go. I'm sure he'll catch up. Derby? Great. It's my conscience again. I told you to leave me alone. It's me, Adam. Adam who? Adam Young. I don't think so. The Adam Young I know is visible. I got stuck in the invisibility suit while I was trying to spy on Echo. That's the Adam Young I know. Just help me out of here. Okay, okay. You know, this would be a lot easier if I could see you. Derby, is that you? Yeah, I'm just helping. Are you okay? I could use someone to talk to. Sure, why don't we talk at your place? <laughs> or uh, I could just walk you home. I mean, I could just follow you at a reasonable distance, making sure you get home safely. <laughs> 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 
Here's cab fare. Derby, can you help me? Sure. <laughs> sure. I've got to find my sword. If I don't get it back to the drama department, Mrs. Saracini will kill me. Of course, she'll have to borrow a sword from someone to do it. Maybe Slap can help you find it. He's already found one sword. <laughs> That's it! Slap, you found my sword! Give me your lunch, Merlin. <laughs> Don't bother. I've tried everything. Did you try buttering it up? Hey, what's a gorgeous sword like you doing in a rock like this? <laughs> What are you guys doing? Somehow my sword got stuck in this stone and... Uh... Here you go. <laughs> sure, after I buttered it up for you. That was amazing! Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Whoa! How much butter did you eat? 